car because I need answers. As custodial parent, I'm supposed to know exactly what's what. Kim, can I leave now? Can you please tell me where you cut my children's hair? I cut. You had I no gave. Authority. I gave my kids a haircut. You had no authority. Did you come? Do you have my kids behind us? Did you consult with me? Kim, let me peel off. Did you consult with me? Can I leave now? Let's be a man for once. Can I leave? Did you consult with me. Ma, can you get the police because he ain't taking my photo because he won't tell me exactly what happened. He has no right to do that. I asked you a simple question. So your mom going to get the police? I don't know. I'm asking you a question. Where did you do this? Earl, they don't Kim, you are really making the kids nervous. Earl, I know my own children ever since. Okay? Ever since what? I know my children. Ever since ever what? Since you abandoned them. I, I abandoned them? them, okay? Oh, I thought I left you. No, I'm recording it too, just to make sure that we're even, Stephen. Okay. Yeah, I don't care so about no that. Problem. Oh, oh, oh! Don't scratch the car. Oh no, scratch the car. Go ahead, do whatever you want to do. Come on, let me hold the train. No, that's their train. I got the train until. Okay, hold on. No, you hold on to that train. Don't let him take that away from you. Nope. Don't let him put the, the train on the car, please, Kim. You need to tell me exactly what happened. No, oh, I see you got the boys crying. Well, you took his don't, train. Don't don't scratch the car. I didn't take it. Don't scratch Answer the car. The question. Get daddy a kiss. Get daddy a kiss. Answer the question. Look. Did I pick them up, Kim? Put him down. Can I pick the You're kid over up? The time. Let me pick You're the kid. over the time. So I can't pick the kids Let up? Let go. Would you tell me where you did? So I can't pick the kids Can up? tell me what you did? They got a haircut, Kim. Where? Where, Earl? You put a shaver to their head. How dare you do that? You finished? And your mom was going to get the police, huh? Kim, Kim would you please I, have them get the train off the car? Answer the question. I'm going to take the train from them. Okay, take them correct? and then they'll be bowling and no, it's all you. No. That's it. They can't have the train on the car. Well, then now, you need to answer the then, question. Why don't you back up from then the car then? You need to answer the question. Back up from the car. They're going to remember you as an image of taking this away. Then back up from the car, Kim. Then answer my question, please. Back up from the car. Answer my question. Kim, you shouldn't be doing this in front of the kids. Would you please tell me you're doing it, Earl? Who gave you the right to do that? Who gave you the right? Oh, I wish you let me leave, Kim. Who gave you the right? You were over an hour and a half late. Go ahead, get your chance, sweetie. Who gave you the right to shave their head? Well, don't I pay child support? And don't they my child kids too? Child support has nothing to do. You are non-custodial with visitation. You have no rights whatsoever to do anything like this without consulting with me first. Oh, here comes your mama. Your nose about to get worse. Kim. You see, you can't have them let them scratch I'm up the car. I'm sorry, I need okay. to know what you did. I'm going to give it back. Daddy going to give it back. You can't scratch up the car, okay? Okay? Come on. Give Daddy a kiss. Give Daddy a kiss. Give the car back. Let me give him a kiss. Let him go. Okay, give it the car. Give it. Okay. Give, give him the train. Come give Daddy a kiss. Get the train. Here, go over here. Take him. Give me the train. You leaving now? I don't know. Where's my coat? Where's my stuff? Is it that bag that you gave me? Oh, you did give me coat, huh? Yes, I did give you coat. Oh, Girl, and back. I gave you hat and I gave you food. Okay, back up so I can open the trunk. Go right ahead. Come, Come would on, you? baby. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Come on. It works. Does the battery doesn't work? So you gotta turn it on. Get the coats, Earl. When she back up, family. they're back waiting up. for us. Get the coat. When she back up, you can go get the coat. I don't want you behind me, Kim, because no! I don't care about you, Earl. Earl. You know what? The, the coats are in the suitcase. No, no, no. Let it be in the case. Stop the, the phone. No, no, really. The coats are in the suitcase. Stop the phone. It's already videotaped. It's okay. If my picture gets on the internet, don't worry about it. You and can you think you're funny. funny. You can do a civil You see, suit. that's why yeah. you're such a coward, Earl. Say that again, Miss Woods. These are the three-year-olds, not you. Okay. Grow up. Okay. That's enough. That's okay. Can, can I have, me wait, can I have my children's coats? Can I introduce yourself? Why you don't I gotta get my coat? You were respectable. I am. Okay, I'm, did you ever find my mom's obituary? Can you? Mm, you never gave it to me. But can I have yeah. my coats, please? Get the coats, please. I'm trying to change the subject. I know. Just get the coats. Oh, they must be in a suitcase. Yeah, go wait in the car. Right there. Oh. Right there. Trying to do something. Oh. No, no, these are my coats. Okay. That's so typical. It's not going to No, there you go. Don't say another word to him. He's not even worth it. I know. But don't you, you ever don't touch, touch my children like that again without consulting no. me. I am custodial. 
Okay. I'm going to give them a haircut next time. Oh, is that a threat? I'm just telling you, if they need a haircut, I'll give it to them. If they need a haircut, I'll give it to them. Do you want me to send you the bill? You do not cut them. Yeah, send me the bill. You think it's funny. Earl, you should have been more conscious about them being sick with the fever instead of trying to give them a haircut. Oh, yeah. he's videotaping that. I know, so am I. I'm doing the same thing, Mom. I just uh, want to crack sister. him on his head. Ms. Woods, back up. Behave back up. yourself. Back up, Ms. Woods. Behave yourself. He's a waste of space. Behave yourself. Get out of the car, y'all scared. What is your name, honey? Look close. What's your name? Huh? Hold on, Ms. Woods. You... Nice. Ronnie? What's your mommy's name? What's your name? What's your mommy's name? What's your mommy's name? Let the car go. Y'all, y'all. Are you, you touching me? Get, get away from the car. Help! Are you hitting me? Help! Get away from the car. Are you hitting me? Get away from the car. Did you just hurt me? Get away from the car. Did you just hurt me? Get away from the car. Did you just put your hands on me? Are you hitting me? Get away from the car. Did you put your hands on me? On purpose. Did you put your hands on me? Let's go. You put your hands on me, I'm going to have a physical... Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Let's go. I'm going to put a complaint against you. I'm about to walk back to the police station myself. Let's go. Go ahead. Uh-uh. Put your go hands on me. Be with a child in the car. You're so typical. Come on. So whose kid was in the car seat? My kid or her kid? They have three car seats. In the front seat? No, I just put that in the front seat. In the front seat? Go get a life, Miss Woods. In the front seat, Earl? Go get a life. Go get a life. Yeah, go get a life. Go get, oh, I have a life. You're the one that don't have a life. You know when I was little Why Kim, don't you grow up? You know your dad, your, your, you know your husband had a, a woman out there in North Carolina, huh? You know, Earl. You know, Earl. I'm just. I won't even answer that. I bet you won't. I won't even answer that. I bet you won't. And you had another girl. While you were dating my daughter. I wish I did. I wouldn't have married her. I wish I did. I would have married her. My, oh, well, let me see my husband pull you up. And tell me what? Let me see my husband pull you up. Let me see my husband pull you up. And tell me what? Shalom. All praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the hopeful elect. I'm going to start off with uh, the book of Micah, chapter 7, and verse 9. It says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. All right? And as Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the things we go through, you know, uh, uh, you know, racism, injustice uh, from our women, from 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 people, just anything is basically because we sinned against the Lord. You know, we sinned against him by uh, serving other gods. All right. He says so right now, you know, those of us that's turned back to the Lord, we realize the what's happening with us you know we ain't joining black lives matter and you know uh uh generational wealth and trying to start all these other things to combat what's happening to us we understand that it's happening to us because the lord sanctioned it it says until he plead my cause so until the lord turn our captivity around until he stand up for us because no one stands up for so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, uh, predominantly the men. All right. Our women, they get like a, a pseudo uh, representation. It seems like it's 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 good, but ultimately it helps further destroy us, you know, with the um, with the welfare system. You know, that seemed benevolent, but ultimately it, just, it, it helped destroy the, the so-called black nuclear family. It says, until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, because there's a judgment for the actions that happen on earth. You don't just get to do this. All right. There's things that's legal, but just because something is legal, that doesn't make it right. That doesn't make it fair. All right. So people hide behind these uh, 
these legalities, right? Well, it's legal, but 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 it's wrong. All right, and 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 what you see in that video, the children were suffering for it. So here it is. This woman, her her, she didn't have the children's best interest in mind. They sitting there confused, crying, and when and when they was crying, if you notice, uh, a uh, a few times they were saying, "Daddy, daddy." All right. But anyway, it says, uh, it says he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Right. So the Lord bring, brought us to the truth. All right. He brought us to the truth and the Lord going to reveal that what his his hopeful elect, what his servants are preaching and teaching. The Lord going to reveal that we were right this whole time. All right. They got a saying uh, along the lines of uh, uh just because everybody, uh, the, the majority believes something, that don't make it true, you know? So we the minority and as far as what we teach and what we preach. And a lot of people don't believe it, but that don't mean it's not true, all right? Uh, Romans 3 and 3 says, for what, if, for what if some did not believe? Does that make the word of the Most High without effect? No, let the Most High be true and let every man be a liar. All right, because a man will tell you that a a, a a a a a man can change his gender, but you can't change your 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 bone structure. You can't change your chromosomes. The Most High said, "Male and female created He them," so that's what's true. It says, verse ten: Then she that is my enemy shall see it, because these women don't see that uh that uh the majority of them, right? All right. And the reason why, you know, you got to bring this out is because you women don't check each other. You women don't uh, instruct each other on how to properly be with men. A lot of women think that this type of behavior is OK. You see, you see, the, you see her mother uh, sanction it and she she a, she an aged woman. That woman looked well off into her 70s. She should know better than that, man. You got you got men. That don't even be in their father's uh, uh, salaki. That don't even be in their children's lives. But then the men that do, this is what you give them? All right? Just because you 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 may or may not be jealous that he moved on and y'all didn't work out. All right? It says, then she that is my enemy shall see it. Right? And these women are our enemies, man. All right? That's what, a, that's what an enemy do. Make your life unnecessarily harder and unnecessarily complicated for no reason. And you see how cordial he was trying to be, how he tried to maintain it, you know? It says, uh, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy power? Right? Because ultimately, a lot of these women don't believe. All right? That's why when you get into this 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 this, this tarot card and this, this universe and this astrology, it's ultimately the women that be more into it, all right? Because the Lord is about order. The scripture says the Most High is not the author of confusion, all right? The Lord, you got the Most High, you got his son, you got the man, you got the woman, you got the child, okay? It says, uh, so like it says, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy power? Yes, yeah, so when all these things be revealed, all right, women in that women in that attitude are gonna be ashamed. Women in that feminist mindset are gonna be ashamed. All right, especially when uh when when Jacob's trouble come and Jacob's trouble, all right, uh which which is spoken about in Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah. That's gonna be a time when it's gonna be chaotic. All right, that's gonna be a time where it's gonna be like the apocalyptic movies that you see when people breaking in the stores, people not obeying the law. Uh, people killing people for bread and all of that. All right. When you look up the word booty, it goes into plunder. All right. But like the pirates, right? They say, give me the booty. But now booty is synonymous with women. Why? Because women are, were often a part of plunder. You look at the, 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 the shows on Netflix, the Vikings and stuff, right? Going to raid villages in England and, and, and everything. What do they do to the women? All right. Women with no protection, okay? It says, uh, it said, my eyes shall behold her 
Now shall she be trodden down as the Maya of the streets. And when you watch those shows, you know, like the Vikings, uh, those women be trodden down after the men do whatever they want to do with them. All right. And then they get then they get trodden. Then they get trodden down. All right. But let's jump to. Uh, Isaiah, this Isaiah chapter three. And 12, it says, as for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. Yeah, the leaders, right? The T.D. Jakes, the, 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 the BLM, uh, the, the actors and everything. They cause our people to, to stray away from the Bible, to stray away from what the Lord said is correct. Right. And, and oftentimes women are the rulers, man. Women are in charge. First of all, women's lead BLM, right? You got all this stuff coming out now in regards to the so-called uh, Negro struggle that's been going on, you know, with the various things that they that our people instituted to try to combat racism and inequality. Now they're saying that women have been the backbone of that, right? And I and I grew up in a in a in a in a predominantly black neighborhood so to speak and the 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 um the elementary I went to was predominantly I mean like 90% ran by so-called black people mainly black women cuz you know elementary you know women are are more patient and easier to deal with children to teach them but when when they was teaching us about black history the majority of them were men I'm not saying that women didn't play their part everyone plays a role but Men are the leaders of any race. That's just that's just a fact. All right. But the, the devil has convinced all women that when it pertains to us, that they're the leaders. Right. So it says, as for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. And how do women rule over us through the liberties that's given to them by the devil? She in here yelling custodial parent. Here it is that. For example, right, let's entertain it real quick. Let's say that the children had long hair, right? And for whatever reason, she wanted her children to have long hair. And he cut their long hair. All right? Then maybe, you know what I'm saying, for the sake of argument, what she said would have some merit, right? But the children already get haircuts. Here it is, the, 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 the grandmother, she just said, ooh, ooh I'm going to send you the bill for their haircut. They just got a haircut. So what's the issue? Anyway, uh, let me jump to uh, Isaiah 32. 32 and 9. It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters, and give ear unto my speech. All right, this is what the Lord saying. It says, Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come, right? And the vintage and the gathering that represents, uh, you know, uh, basically um, harvest. All right. If you plant something, then you get a return. You, 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 you get the fruit of it. All right. It produces for you. And what happened uh, through welfare and through the economics in America, women get uh, produce and get uh, benefits from the government, all right? It's tailored and designed like that, all right? To, 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 to make it a little bit more easier for women and a little bit more harder for men. Like you got the food stamps, you got a TANF, all right? Oftentimes, these women might get an SSI check, okay? Uh, you got something uh, called Section 8, all right? And the law is tailored where, yeah, Men can, these things are available to men too, but it's very few far and in between that men actually access it. All right. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a real large gap. All right. But women get those things easily. All right. It says, uh, tremble, uh, ye women that are at ease be troubled. Ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Right. Sackcloth 
that represents a time of mourning. All right. So pretty, pretty soon, a lot of these women in the in this feminist spirit, this whole I don't need a man thing, you know, because they got a good career or, or they got government assistance or child support and things like that. All right. They go. They're going to be mourning. All right. And really, they're mourning now. All right. A lot of women complaining about being single. All right. But they but they still not looking inward and be like, what can I do or what should I do to better be a, a suitable mate to a man? All right. Instead of just looking for a man to be a suitable mate to you, you know, because the, the, it don't work like that. You're you're supposed to be fitting onto his schedule, you know. But it says uh, verse 12, they shall lament for the teats. For the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. So so they're gonna mourn, all right, when all these things are gone and all hell uh uh breaks loose, man. Because what happened was, like I stated earlier, the devil gave these uh uh women um license to behave like this through the laws, all right? And you see what happened when he tried to, the woman all going in the man's car and he trying to get away from the car and she's yelling and screaming and help like he did something to her. That was, that was wicked. That was, that was evil. All right. And when you make a, like I'm doing right now, a video response to that and calling it out, then you got people that, that, uh, will come and make excuses for those actions. Ain't no excuses for them actions, man. That was pure evil. All right. As many as, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans getting gunned down, all right, by the police. That's basically a death threat. You got a woman talking about she calling, she gonna call the police on you nine days, really any days. That's 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 almost likened unto a death threat, all right. And this is a, a she yelling custodial parent, all right. Terms that this man gave her to 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 make her feel as though that the father the father don't have no rights. Them his children, they came they came out of him. All right. Uh, this is a uh, Titus chapter two, verse three. It says the aged women likewise. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much, not giving too much wine. Teachers of good things. Right here. She was an aged woman. All right. And she's also a false accuser. And the reason why I say that is because that woman act like that man did something wrong. And she was all on his. She was she was all on her daughter's side. That man didn't do anything wrong. So you a false accuser. All right. She should have been there telling. She should have been over there telling her to calm down. It says that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. And in, in the so-called uh, black community, they don't think that that's something that got to be taught. You have to be taught how to love your, your husband and your children. OK, those are things that have to be taught. But they don't they don't think that they don't think that's so, you know, there is a certain thing as a as a maternal instinct and a, and a paternal instinct. There is a to a certain degree uh, people have that. But that's few far in between nowadays. All right. Even 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 more so. So you need those older women that 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 had sustaining and long lasting relationships to 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 teach women OK, how to deal and be with men. All right. It ain't always about what you want and how you feel and what you think things should be. But you don't have that no more because what that, that feminism hype came about with what about the 60s. So those women that was born in the 50s, a lot of them jumped on that bandwagon. And that's what and that's why you see a lot of relationships now are fruitless. In terms of cohesiveness and togetherness and being a united front it says uh to be discreet chast keep us at home all right to be discreet man you out here having a a, a, 
a confrontation with this man in public, man. Be discreet. An unnecessary com uh, 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 confrontation at that. It says to be discreet, chaste, keep us at home, good, obedient to their own husbands. All right. Here it is in any situation that that you in, depending on the hierarchy, there's a level of obedience. You go to work. There's a hierarchy. All right. You go to the to the to the to the uh, just living out in the world. You, you can't just do whatever you want. There's laws. All right. There's certain things you can and can't do. All right. You, you, you got a mother. You got a father. There's a hierarchy. There's certain things you can and cannot say or or in the Israelite family. Predominantly, it ain't what you say it's how you say it. So you got to check your tone. All of these things are constructs that the uh, social constructs that the Bible corroborate. But everybody got a problem with it when it comes to being when it when it's to your man, though, because the, the devil made it so the devil helped forward that. All right. And the devil, the word devil means deceiver. Right. And who's the, the, the deceiver? The so-called white man. He's uh, been deceiving the whole world. Got you believing all type of stuff. Calling calling yourself black, calling yourself Puerto Rican, Mexican. All right. It says uh, to be discreet, chaste, keep us at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the most high be not blasphemed. Right. And most of these aged women be all up in the church house. She she was dressed like she, you know, like how you would see women dressed in church, her mother. Right. But you got feminism all up in the church house. All right. But uh, anyway, Lord willing, this was a hopeful and edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. Once again, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakadash Shalom.